from slide nerd this is reeves hello guys what's up this program is about multiple and if you look at this question you're probably wondering what the hell it means let me tell you what it means if you have one number number one like 12 and number two like four you know that 12 is three times four right so you say that 12 is a multiple of four but if you take 13 and four then you know that 13 does not divide four right so you say that it is not a multiple of four that's exactly what our program is it's also called divisibility test now I'm not expert at mathematics but again I googled that name out for you guys so now let's see how the output looks say enter number 1 12 enter number 2 4 yes 12 is a multiple of 4 because it's perfectly divisible output enter number 1 13 number 2 4 13 is not a multiple of 4 right now the thing is this how can you tell if something is a multiple or not the question is again it's just like your odd or even program when you say divisible just take these two numbers 12 and 4 divide them I mean 12 by 4 if you get the remainder as 0 it means it's perfectly divisible so here's the thing find the remainder for number 1 divide by number 2 so if you have 12 and if you have 4 the remainder is 0 the remainder is 0 then number 1 is a multiple otherwise it's not take a look you have 24 by 8 take a different example 24 and 8 the remainder is 0 calculate this up 24 is a multiple of 8 but if you have 27 and 8 you're gonna get a remainder of 3 which is not 0 so in short 27 is not a multiple of 8 or the divisibility is failed for that uh, I'm not gonna talk about divisibility I'm more comfortable with the multiple stuff so let's go ahead and get this baby up and running same test you test for two things you check to find the remainder you know very well in Java you have an operator called modulus which is the percentage sign so if you write number one percent number two the program is gonna do all this for you the program is gonna take number two it's gonna calculate number one by number two find the remainder and give that back to you so here number one percent number two is zero it means it was perfectly divisible if it is not zero then it's not divisible you have a simple if else just like the order even program so let's go up that means and get this up and running so again I have my buffered reader stuff here in an empty project the buffered reader for taking input throws exception to ensure that your compiler handles any errors while taking input import java.io to tell java that hey look made buffered reader hey look made input stream reader tell the program where they are so now let's go ahead paste it out so now we ask the user two numbers right enter number one enter number two need to remove this code alright so now int n1 n2 probably make more meaningful names but for now let's keep it this way n1 reader read line you use the reader you created over here to read a statement this is gonna give a string convert that to an integer by saying percent percent where is it java is gonna ask you tell it that it is inside integer copy paste this entire thing do the same thing again this time keep it number two all right so now is the main part we need to take number one divide number two by it and find the remainder is it zero if it is zero then that means they are perfectly divisible right so we say they are perfectly divisible or it's a multiple or we can say something like this that is number one plus I'm putting a plus to add this value number one to this piece of text over here inside the double quotes I'll say is a multiple of space plus n2 adding n2 at the end else simple just copy paste the same thing and write is not a multiple right so control s shift f6 take number 1 as 24 number 2 as 8 24 is a multiple of 8 shift f6 take number 1 as 25 8 it's not a multiple 26 8 not a multiple so it's running right so I hope you guys got something out of this if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this Till then, have a nice day. I'll catch you guys later.